Mr. Vestalot, welcome back to the channel, baby. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Hit the bell as well, the notification bell, because you don't want to miss videos like this. So today I'm going to be talking about BioNanogenomics' latest sale of the Sapphire and why this sale is key. So I dug into their background, I looked at all the connections and what's been going on in England. Then let's also talk about a juicy contract found by Cisco Trader. This contract is to do with our latest acquisition of BioDiscovery and how our new acquisition can bring us streams of revenue. So if you're new around here, my name is Miguel. I've been looking for big juicy growth stocks and bingo is one of them. Always remember, none of this is financial advice. It's for entertainment only. Now let us begin. So first of all, I was doing a lot of digging. Oh, not that kind of digging. In fact, I've been making a lot of connections recently and I'm trying to find out as much information as possible about bio-nanogenomics. I've also been looking at the plan over here in England. So Joe Butler, the BioNano sales manager over here in the UK, has made another sale. Yes, he's sold to Newcastle NHS Foundation Trust. These guys are super happy. They're ready to find these structural variants in Cytopia. But now hold on, who the heck are they? Well, NEY Genomics, NHS Northeast and Yorkshire Genomics. I went straight to the website and I wanted to look into what they offer. National Genomic Services, Regional Genomic Services. And apparently since 2018 October, genomic testing has been delivered in the NHS through a network. And this network consists of genomic laboratory hubs. There are in fact seven genomic laboratory hubs and each are responsible for coordinating services in a different part of England. So who's the one that we sold it to? Well, according to Joe Butler, we've managed to sell a Sapphire to the North East and Yorkshire GLH led by the Newcastle upon Time Hospital's NHS Foundation Trust. So digging deeper into the website, we can see the Northeastern Yorkshire Genomic Laboratory Hub controls this yellow part of the region. They coordinate services within this yellow part. So what's the aim of the game with these genomic laboratory hubs? They want to create a world-class genomic testing resource for the NHS, the National Health Service. And each genomic laboratory hub is led by a certain trust. But what is an NHS trust, Miguel? It's basically an organizational unit within the National Health Service. And they either have a specialized function or they focus on a particular geographical area. And just sometimes there may be several trusts covering particular areas or sharing and providing health care for a local population. And the interesting thing with the Northeastern Yorkshire Genomics Trust, the one we've sold a sapphire to, is they are now part of the Genomic Medicine Service Alliance. And now this genomic medicine service is focusing on embracing technology and innovation. They want to deliver faster diagnosis and more effective treatment for patients. So what the GMS alliances are going to do is they're going to oversee and coordinate embedding of genomics into mainstream clinical care. And they've got a link with personalized medicine. So they want to help create personalized medicine and they want to roll that out as well as embed genomics into the NHS service. So a good way to understand things as well is to look at the patient side. So what does this mean, this National Genomic Medicine Service? What does it mean for these patients? It means that patients living anywhere in England will have the same access to testing. The approach to testing will be standardized so that all patients get the best possible care. There's also a National Genomic Test Directory which shows which tests are available and for who within the NHS. And because the service and the tests are regularly reviewed, new technologies and tests will be introduced more rapidly to improve diagnosis. Will BioNanogenomics, because of this latest sale, be able to actually sell more sapphires and get more adoption in the UK because this key genomic laboratory hub is utilizing the sapphire now? Because if they want to keep up with innovation, they have to use new technologies, they want to look at these new tests, and they want to be able to rapidly improve diagnosis. One of the key parts of the service is they want to continue introducing new genomic tests in the future and keep up with innovation, research, developments. So this genomic medicine service means faster diagnosis for patients, personalized medicine is coming, and you know bio-nanogenomics can find those biomarkers, baby. Now I then went and dug a little bit deeper. And it turns out that this national specialist testing service has already gone live and it was already live with these genomic hubs since the 1st of February 2021. So these seven genomic laboratory hubs have the ability to now deliver services and they're going to be delivering services for rare and inherited genetic disease. Not only that, but if we look into their national specialist testing, there's a lot of tests that are available already at the start of the service, but there's a small number of tests that they're waiting on, right? And they said this is coming through, you know, up to the 1st of April 2021. But look at what they're waiting for. They're waiting for the full clinical ramp up 
of whole genome sequencing. Now whole genome sequencing has also been discussed to be rolled out for all newborns so they want to do newborn screening for disease and according to the GeekWire article we revisit now you can see 75% of structural variants that are present in the person's genome are missed by whole genome sequencing and these variants are three more times likely to cause disease. So it's important that we find them. And as BioNanogenomics says, Andrew Butler, structural variations have nowhere to hide in Cytopia. On the other side of the board, I want to talk about our latest acquisition, BioDiscovery, and I want to talk about NX Clinical. So there was a latest contract that's going to be running for up to three years in the UK that we have now acquired. Since BioNanogenomics has acquired BioDiscovery, we now can gain revenue from this company and this NX Clinical software service. So they have a history, BioDiscovery, of helping big companies, especially Perkin Elmer, Invitae. I think there's also some links there to Illumina. So the NX Clinical software helps these clinicians make sense of the data and now in the UK Cisco trader over on stock twits thank you so much Cisco for always providing great information he has found that biodiscovery NX clinical is already in Birmingham Children's Hospital this is a hospital over in the UK and they have a three-year contract so this three-year contract biodiscovery NX clinical for Birmingham Children's Hospital has a value of 587,000 pounds 505 pounds and this is over three years so they're going to be generating income bio nanogenomics is going to be able to get revenue from this contract because they own biodiscovery this can now add as another revenue stream but also it gives us exposure and connections to birmingham children's hospital and what is birmingham children's hospital a part of birmingham's hospital is in fact part of the seven genomic laboratory hubs so if we go to birmingham women and children's nhs foundation trusts you'll be able to see that the west midlands regional genetics laboratory is one of the largest genomics facilities in the uk and the lead provider for one of the seven genomic laboratory hubs this is the Central and South Genomic Laboratory Hub. And this Central and South Genomic Laboratory Hub is hosted by the Birmingham Women's and Children's NHS Foundation Trust, and it serves approximately 11 million people across the large geography. And now the seven genomic laboratory hubs are also in alliance with the GMSA and they're working in collaboration with lots of medical specialities including clinical genetics, nursing, midwifery, pharmacy as well as universities, charities, patient groups and they're going to continue to develop and innovate in healthcare to apply genomics for patients. There's a lot of data they need to manage especially if they're serving 11 million people within the geographic area. All of this information they need to store and make sense of. So as Cisco rightly said, revenue already incoming you can see the value was £587,505. That's around about $807,000. And this is broken down into three chunks per year of an annual estimation of nearly $270,000. So now going back into here, you need to take a look at the connections between the seven genomic laboratories and which trusts are providing for them. So we've got Cambridge here, Cambridge University Hospitals, Manchester. Great Ormond Street is a specialist hospital for research, especially for children with cancer. Genomics is starting to pave the way here in England and it's going to transform healthcare and it is the future. I was speaking to a surgeon the other day. Um, this guy is actually a lung surgeon and he just completed, I think it was a 25 year project in the Amazon. So imagine how much funding and how good you have to be to get 25 years worth of funding. And this guy just point blank said to me, you know, within cancer and, you know, within healthcare in general, genomics is the future so for me i am estimating this is not financial advice this is just my opinion and estimate for entertainment only that we're going to see a lot of adoption over the next few years for bio nanogenomics and i think patience is going to pay me patience is going to make sure that you know i'm not selling any shares I'm looking for that $100 price target for bio nanogenomics. But like I said before, we make one acquisition and we're now Netflix, you know, of genomics. We have now a catalog of all this data where we can match data up with sequencing and we can also try and push in optical genome mapping data so people can get these full range of data sets and find out what they need to find out. So I wonder what these guys are going to be doing. I wonder if they're running services, if they're going to be testing, if they're going to be researching certain disease, maybe genetic disease or certain comorbidities and also find in the links and biomarkers for this disease so it can be used in personalized medicine by pharmaceutical companies and make people's lives better anyways bio nanogenomics is a long-term hold for me but i'll be excited to see what they're going to be posting uh, in terms of revenues 
over the next few quarters. And I also want to keep taking a look at those dark pools and looking at how are institutional investors moving right now with that Dix indicator. Or are they silently buying within those dark pools? As always, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for supporting the channel. And if you want to send me a tip, I have a PayPal link in my description box below. I just want to say thank you so much for all your love and support. Please remember none of this is financial advice is for entertainment only. Hit that like, hit that subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss a video. I love you guys and I'm going to see you in the next video. Mr. Investor Life, over and out, baby.